So this is the complete lineup of SOK batteries. We have a 100 amp hour and a 206 amp hour. And both of these batteries are in a steel case, which typically is very good because it's very strong, but you cannot use these in a marine environment. The connection of the lid to the case is not sealed, and if you were to scratch this, it could rust. For this reason alone, I've told people to buy other plastic or nylon case batteries instead of SOK for a marine environment application. But now, they actually built their own nylon cased battery. And typically the lid on a nylon case battery is glued shut. But on this one, you can actually open it up and it's serviceable. Okay, this is too slow. So this is organized slightly different than their other 206 amp hour model. Typically the BMS is on the lid, but on this one it's on the side. And you can see that the BMS heat sink is not touching the cells. And the temp sensor is wired on the side and attached to the cells. But everything else is the same, the same bus bars, the same cells, but obviously because this is a different case it has different connections to the terminals. Also notice there is a rubber seal around this entire lid and it just came off right here. So make sure that you push it down every time you put it back together again. If it did not have the seal, I would not recommend it for marine use. Also, they only build this model in 206 amp hours. They do not have a 100 amp hour version. Oh, that's neat. And these plastic things hold the cells down. You see that? Yeah, because you don't have a strap on top like on the older models. Whoever's designing their stuff is just really smart. They have such simple designs, but they work really well. On these balance wires, they crimp them and then solder them and then put heat shrink over that. So now let's talk about how this model compares to others on the market. This Battleborn battery, which I have four of and I love them, I haven't had a single issue with these even after I took them apart and then put them back together again, no issues at all. But no one's having any issues with this one and it's half the price. And both batteries are sealed. The number one critique and complaint I had is that you couldn't use their older models in a marine environment. But now you actually can. So SOK is covering, you know, more and more of the market and they're gonna have more batteries in the future. I mean, just think half the cost. You can buy double the battery, actually more. This is a 206 amp hour battery. So it's more than double a single Battleborn battery. And the build quality for both of these packs is really good. And look at how large the Battleborn battery is for only having half of the capacity as the SOK. And the SOK has a higher specific energy. And that's due to the type of cell and what size they're using. Even though I like Battleborn and I think they do a great job, I don't think people are going to buy these as often when you can just buy this for so much cheaper. Previously, Battleborn was destroying the competition, but yeah, there's so many more competitors on the market now, and yeah, this is a great option right here. And a lot of people love Battleborn because they were super solid, especially the BMS. In the early days of lithium iron phosphate packs, we had lots of BMS failures. So Battleborn made a BMS that was super solid, but now S SOK okay, makes their own BMS, and they've only had two failures out of tens of thousands of batteries. Now let's discuss what both of these batteries are missing compared to the competitors on the market. So first off, both of these do not have a Bluetooth BMS, and a lot of people actually like that. Next, both of these batteries do not have internal heaters for cold temperatures. You can buy a Battleborn with an internal heater, but it costs more money. But I must admit, a lot of people wanted internal heater lithium iron phosphate batteries, but when you have it, you'll notice that if you have those batteries in an indoor environment, you'll never trigger those heaters because typically to get these cells down to that low of a temperature is very difficult. So typically I think internal heaters are overrated and you don't really need them. Just put them in an insulated box and you should be good to go. Or add your own heater for much cheaper. Like why spend all of that money and have more complexity in the case that could potentially fail? And instead you could add your own resistive heating element to your system. System. Next, both of these batteries do not have a state of charge indicator on the top or on the side or something, but because it's a marine grade battery, I wouldn't want those on there anyways because typically that's where it likes to leak. These terminals and the seals around it do not like to leak, but if you have a display and it's glued in there, that's where it would probably leak around that seal. And that's all I can think. These are very basic batteries. It's just a BMS and some cells in a plastic box. Paper, they see, actually, wait, 
This one has a better discharge and charging capability. Max continuous current is 100 amps, and obviously this one is 100 amps, but this is double the capacity. So it has about half the discharge rate capability for its size or relative to. So if you're pulling high C rates and you're not using it for solar, a Battleborn battery might be better for your instance, but you could also buy a Lion Energy battery and it has a 150 amp discharge and it has the same capacity as this one. And that BMS is really nice. So I wouldn't go with either one of these if you need a small battery that can push out a lot of current. But for solar, SOK battery all the way because obviously you're not pulling that high of a C rate, especially if you have like four or eight of these all in series or in parallel. And that's another point. Battleborn used to be the only one that you could series connect up to 48 volts because their FET voltage rating was high enough to actually do that. But SOK has the same thing. You can safely series connect the SOK up to 48 volts as well. So yeah, more and more options and there's more batteries coming to the market very soon. So it's not just this one. So yeah, we'll have lots of competition and the prices are coming down dramatically. I mean, think about how many options we have available now compared to like even a year ago. So yeah, this is fantastic. And they, they said that they're gonna make a lot of these. Also, SOK Battery did not send this out. This is the distributor, which is Current Connected. And Current Connected is actually licensed to repair these batteries. But we always laugh all the time about it because you never have to repair them. So it's kind of funny that they have that title, but yeah, they don't really repair these at all because none of them really fail. And if they do fail, you could swap out the BMS in a couple minutes. If you actually break one of these, please let me know about it because I have not had anybody on the forum complain or in the comment section. Also keep in mind that these are 12 volt batteries and you can use these for 48 volts, but I'm gonna be doing a lot more review videos on 48 volt specific batteries that are much cheaper than all of these. Um, if you are using 12 volts, you have to spend more money and get something like an SOK, which the SOK is still a fraction of the cost of everybody else, but we're gonna have a lot more 48 volt battery reviews to come. I'm just waiting for those to come through the port of Los Angeles. It's taking a long time for shipments right now. Anyways. I hope you guys liked the video and there will be lots more to come and thank you so much for watching. Bye.